I get to go into all these corners of the world. Ripped my bag open and I'm not happy about it. Hello friends and good evening. Welcome to a new video. I know I never start the vlog this late but it is 8 p.m. and I thought I would start this travel vlog with you guys. I'm currently at OR Tambo International Airport. I got here at about just before 7. I've already gotten through the check-in queue, dropped my bags off, gone through security and gone through immigration. Right now I am trying to get access to one of the lounges just because if i go to the normal gate then majority of the time the plug points don't work and i really want to get some editing done because it's still like two and a half hours before i need to board my flight so i just went to the Budvest premier lounge and they were like no honey <laughs> you need to be like a private client to get in here so now i'm just gonna go and try to get access into the slow lounge but i thought i would start this vlog if you're new here Hi, hello, my name is Andy. I am a South African charter flight attendant. I am currently on my way to my next charter tour, which I'm sure you guys will know by the title of this video by now, but I am heading off to Khartoum in Sudan. Probably, I doubt anybody guessed that. I would never have guessed that, but that is pretty much where I'm spending the next year going back and forth and operating flights around there. I have never been to that country before. I don't know anything about that country, but I definitely would love to explore as much as possible and learn as much as possible. I'm sure I will find some sort of beauty in that, but I am happy to learn the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that comes with traveling in Africa. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to get access into a lounge, shall we? Okay, I made it to Edis and I napped a little bit for a couple of hours on one of the lounging chairs. I've walked around, I got myself a coffee and now I'm sitting at my gate. This plane just finished boarding so as soon as they push back and go I think our plane is gonna land and come park here and then it'll be time for us to board. And then the flight to Khartoum should be about two hours. By the time I'd landed in Sudan, I had learned just a few things about the country. Firstly, I'd learned that Sudan is home to more pyramids than Egypt. They have more than 200 pyramids. Yes, their pyramids are a bit smaller, but still, it counts. <laughs> the capital of Sudan is the city of Khartoum, which is where I'm currently flying to. This is also where the White Nile River and the Blue Nile River meet to create the Nile River that continues to flow up to Egypt so I think that is such a cool fact. Unfortunately Sudan is experiencing some ongoing civil conflict so that's just something to keep in mind. 
And lastly, the hottest season in Sudan is between April and June, which is when the weather reaches about 45 degrees Celsius on average. Could you imagine? <laughs> So I'm so glad that I am here in the month of September because the average temperature this month is about 35 degrees Celsius. So it's not the worst. I think I'll survive. I made it to Khartoum. I'm in Sudan. How, like the fact that I just said that sentence is beyond unbelievable to me. Here is the front door. And to your right, you walk in and this is the bathroom. We go huge shower and then on the left there's a closet you can slide these doors closed and open and it's got a safe I love that there's little slippers I'm pretty sure there's a little mini fridge in here yes there is a little fridge down there a little kettle tea and coffee station over there a little bit more storage up there and then here's the TV area this is the bed nothing super exciting but quite nice I love how they've decorated this bedspread it's very Sudanese not that I actually know what something Sudanese looks like but this is my first guess there's a little seating area over here a desk area over there and then I haven't actually seen the view yet let's have a look outside there we go and on the side I don't have a view of the Nile from here I've got a view of the city but that's okay my first flight was okay there was someone in my aisle seat and I was at the window I tried to I tried to eat some of my food on the plane on the flight from Joburg to Addis but they gave me fish when I had asked for chicken so I wasn't really into it I ended up just eating the crackers and the cheese and then I slept I got like a proper three hours of sleep on that flight which I'm very happy about but I slept in such a bad position because I woke up and my neck hurt like hell but it's fine then I had a few hours in Addis I found one of those little lounging chairs had another nap over there went to Pizza Hut to get a coffee and a very overpriced tiny 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 pizza Addis to Khartoum the flight was like an hour and a half it wasn't even two hours long it was very very quick I had the whole road to myself on that flight but then this other guy when we started taxi decided to just move and sit in my aisle seat because I think it was near his friends I tried to just take another nap but the thing is when we landed we went to go and fetch my bags and one of my bags had been broken into I feel like when I ask other crew about it they're like oh yeah that happens all the time but this was the first time this ever happened to me let me show you quickly these are my bags and when I left Johannesburg they were both wrapped in that like plastic cling wrap and this one I've just opened now because the guy that helped me to my room and brought up my luggage and stuff I asked him if they can please put my meat in the hotel freezer and so I had to open up this bag to give that to him but when I landed this bag was fine like when I got this from the baggage carousel it was fine this one on the other hand arrived you see how like my zip is here it's broken it was locked when I left South Africa and it was wrapped and when I got it at the baggage carousel it was just like this like there was no wrapping or anything these people whoever it was that opened my bag they like forcibly opened my bag went through my things like because you know how I packed things in like separate bags and stuff my toiletry bag was like ripped apart you have no idea the plastic that it was wrapped in they had shoved it back into the bag and they just left it like this I'm so annoyed about it I am so annoyed when we were at the airport I first took like a couple minutes to check if I could see that anything had been taken out of my bag or not but at first glance I can't tell so I'm gonna go through my bag again and just double check to see if everything that's supposed to be there is there or not because I'd be very very upset if something was not there I think it must have been like the security like the airport security just checking if they maybe thought they saw something in the bag from the x-ray machine or something I'm just very upset at how they like manhandled my bag that was very upsetting they just ripped my bag open and I'm not happy about it okay but anyway apart from that the hotel staff is great the hotel itself is great 
there's breakfast from 7 to 11 so I know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow morning when I wake up I met my base manager they dropped me off here at the hotel I might be seeing them a little bit later on because it's actually one of the other flight attendants birthday today right now all I need is to take a shower and have another nap because I really feel like I need it Ooh, this is a king size bed I just realized okay there's a perk uh, I'm sorry for sounding so complainy earlier I've had my shower, I feel much better now. And just came up from going downstairs and meeting up with a couple of the other crew. There's two flight attendants and one pilot that were just doing some shopping around here. So they came by to say hi to me and I joined them to just browse around some other stores, which is really nice. And seeing them and just, you know, experiencing the good vibes, it filled my cup so I'm good to go also at the end of the day nothing of mine was stolen my bag is damaged but nothing of mine was stolen so I have to be grateful for that I have to remember to be grateful for that I stopped at the restaurant and I ordered some dinner so hopefully that'll be coming up soon I was actually youtubing things to do in this area and it seems like there's quite a few which you wouldn't expect it in this country honestly because they've got so much civil issues happening currently you wouldn't expect there to be something for tourists but guys the nile is right here i really really want to go see the nile do a boat ride on the nile something to do with the nile i think that would be so fun i don't think it's going to be in the cards for me to see the pyramids though because those are out of town and when i was checking online it seemed like you need to get some kind of a permit to leave this city and to like drive up to other cities and the pyramids are quite a drive away i think it's like a four hour drive but yeah that's just a a, a random fyi that nobody asked for but yeah dinner has arrived i got they said this is called a chicken fajita and it's got rice over there apparently there's like peppers and onions and chicken that's like grilled up and then this is some pineapple juice and just a regular schmegula coke Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Yesterday I passed out. I was fast asleep from 8 p.m. and I think I only woke up at like 7, 7.30 and then I just lay in bed, scrolled on Instagram and stuff, but yo, I needed that full night's sleep. I feel so good now. And now I'm gonna head downstairs and get some breakfast. My supper last night was quite filling, so for breakfast I'm just having a slice of toast with some of this like egg roll, a couple pieces of fruit and a coffee and I think this is a mango juice and I'm just enjoying the view outside. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday, it is the last month of August already. Yesterday I didn't do anything interesting at all, my manager sent me a pro prof thing that I had to do and it ended up taking all day because the Wi-Fi was so slow and then I spent the evening watching the new Selling the OC which I'm... Um, it's not that great, it's really not that great compared to Selling Sunset and Selling Tampa. I feel like Selling the OC is forcing drama in a way, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense, nothing is interesting, they're very repetitive with their drama but whatever that's just my two cents i just came up from breakfast now one of my pilots is staying here he also just came in but he's also waiting for the person he's replacing to go back home before he can move into the crew apartment as well so him and i are here at the hotel we went down had breakfast we're actually gonna take a quick walk over to the crew house today and just hang out with them for a couple of hours i need to get a local sim card so we need to go by the airport and sort all of that out but i want to show you guys i just noticed something outside my window over there is a pizza hut do you see that there's an actual pizza hut in Sudan that's so funny and then that over there I don't know if you can see that building over there that's pretty much where the Nile is from where I am that's pretty much around about where the Nile is which I would love to go and see but I don't know if we're gonna be doing anything like social or going out or exploring anything this weekend people here are very friendly but there is a much bigger like language barrier I have to put in much more effort to learn 
Arabic and to be able to communicate with locals. So I shall be doing that. <laughs> it's four o'clock now and this morning the pilot I mentioned, he and I went over to the crew apartment. We actually walked past the Pizza Hut and I can't see it from here but there is a KFC right next to the Pizza Hut. How funny is that? He did tell me that it doesn't taste anything like normal KFC or like KFC back home. He said it just doesn't taste the same. It's, it tastes like they put very, very different spices here. But we might have to like give it a try one of these days. I might have to go and taste test the KFC here. But yeah, we basically spent the whole day there. I'm only scheduled to fly in a few days. So honestly, this vlog, it might end right now. There's nothing else that's gonna happen. I'm literally stuck in my hotel room for the next few days. I know that this is a random place for me to be. It is definitely not the most touristy place. It's kind of just part of being a charter flight attendant or a charter crew member in general. You're not gonna be sent to the most amazing, most touristy, most famous and popular places. You kind of just go where you are sent, where your job sends you, and you make the best of it, which is something that I really, really love. I get to go into all these corners of the world. These places were never on any sort of bucket list of mine. At the end of the day, like I just love getting to experience this unique place and enjoy it and get to find the positives in it. My flight attendant life is definitely not the typical. It's not what you usually see on other people's channel. Hopefully you guys still enjoy the unique perspective that you do get from my channel because it's what I love about my life and my channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for spending the last couple of days with me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss more of my upcoming videos. Hopefully we'll get to explore Sudan together. All right, I'm gonna go now. Please continue spreading good vibes and being kind and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>